Oracle Tribe, it's Ethany, and we are at day two of the 31 days of tarot for 2018. And today is the top five tarot decks of 2017. Now, I did leave this open. I said these can be ones that you've purchased in 2017 because they would be new to you or ones that have been released in 2017. Now, I went released in 2017. Um... Uh, that I worked with in 2017. I think they're all in that category. Like they were all released in 2017. I did check. Um, before I get onto my list, I did want to say I, because of the big trip that we had to Australia this year, and I've been extremely, I've been busier than I ha have ever been. Um, I um, have, and I kid you not, a pile like this high of unboxings to do. So I have been sent and I've purchased a lot of decks um, that have like from Kickstarter things and just finding decks and falling in love with them. Um, and so some decks that I could have put in here that I know I'm going to love working with a lot aren't because <laughs> they are not open yet. So I, I, I disqualified them because I haven't had a chance to really get to know them. But you will see their unboxings eventually when I get start to get back on top of all that work. All right, without further ado, and this is in no particular um, order here, we have the Star Tarot. Oh, some of this is back, back to front. The Star Tarot, <clears throat> and it's by, oh my gosh, the book is behind me. It's going to really annoy me and I can't move these screens because I've already knocked them over once today. I've trimmed mine. Um, this is published by um, Schiffer Publishing. Very glossy, so you're seeing all that gloss. I have done a walkthrough of this. There is a full walkthrough of this deck on my um, and a better camera and a better setup. If you like what you're seeing this deck like you really don't see the amazing fucking images and this is I mean I have been stalking this deck for ages for years and I was so close to buying the deck when it was there was a um a major arcana only edition but I waited and I trimmed them completely because the borders were printed unevenly and they were annoying me um and I'm so happy with it and I love it so hard. It's a deck that I've been using um, a lot for my personal readings and I just absolutely adore it. I'm not gonna show you any more cards because you can't really see anything with that screen. It's super annoying. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like with it being a little bit smaller, it's a lot easier to handle. Um, they weren't gilded, I don't believe. So they, to cut the choice to cut to trim them for me was like pretty much made <laughs> pretty quickly there. So that's one of my number, I guess it's in no particular order. So that's the first deck I'm going to show you. The This is a beautiful pouch made by Divine Octavia on Etsy. She does the most beautiful cat pouches because I can't sew. Um, <laughs> God only gave me so many gifts. Sewing wasn't one of them. My next deck, the Ostara Tarot. Now, this did come out in 2016, but I did not get it until 2017. And I also only have um, the this edition. I do not have the indie edition because I waited too long and then it got out of print. And um, it was like, too bad. So another deck published by Shipper Publishing by four Vancouver, local Vancouver artists. I have a walkthrough of this deck. I love the gilded edges. I love the backs. I have used this deck a ton. You may, if you've had a reading with me in 2017, you, your reading may have been we're done with this deck. I love that it is, it takes me outside of um, my traditional tarot education, which is Rider Waite Smith based. Um, and so I really, really adore it. I've been using it a lot, actually. So I'm really, really, really in love with this deck. Like I said, I'm not gonna, I won't do a full flip through of these because 
I have already got them on my channel and that would be extremely boring but I've read a ton with this deck the one thing that I haven't done a lot of with this actually I don't think I've ever done is consult the guidebook um, it's still inside the box um, I mean it does have it does have the keywords that took a moment that took way too long um and a little bit but i and a little bit of information um and what i do like about this guidebook and i did say in the unboxing is it talks about the artwork um so it kind of talks a little bit about like what's in the actual picture and how that relates to the card but i've never actually gone to refer to the the um the actual guidebook i just use it as a normal tarot deck for my myself okay number three the sassy burrito um as it has become lovingly known in the tarot community and i really hope that hasn't pissed off the um the creator um stasia um sassurabriato deck yeah i probably butchered it in my unboxing as well i've done an unboxing of this deck as well uh, it's so beautiful. It's got the gilded edges. This is on Etsy. Um, I believe there's some copies. I don't know. Are there copies left? It's so pretty. The backs are gorgeous. This is an indie deck. I love the art. The art style is just so stunning. And it's just so pretty. <clears throat> you know some of it is but basic like the devil that's a pretty that's just like a person um in the four of wands four wands but i i some of the cards i just think are so like they've nailed it she's nailed it so hard <laughs> that i can't not love this deck so I really like that card. It's such an interesting perspective on the tarot. So that is definitely one of my top for 2017. The next deck. Oh, so pretty. And another one that I was stalking for a long time. Um, the Darkness of Light Tarot. I just love this deck. Nine of Pentacles, which was my card last year. Yeah, my, my, I don't think it's just because it's winter here and it's going to get dark in like two seconds. Um, but my camera is not going to pick up just how beautiful these paintings are. They are so stunning. And I have done a unboxing. There is an unboxing on my channel, a full walkthrough of this deck. And it's not even that super shiny. It's just my light setup. I love this deck. I use it, use it quite a lot. Um, still do. Yeah, it's just really, really, really pretty. That's the fourth out of the top five. And I really could have done like a top gazillion, but um, I did limit myself to five this year. And my top, my number one, and I know this is going to be really vain of me maybe, but um, I am really proud of the Bad Bitches Tarot. I'm really proud of the deck. Um, I love it. I use it all the time. I've got like one copy there. I've got... One copy here, I'm constantly, constantly using this deck. It's, um, which you want to hope so if you created your own deck. Um, I love my bad bitches. I love what they, yeah, I just, I love my, I love my deck. I think there would probably be a bit of a problem if you created something and you didn't like it. Um, so I don't, I don't feel bad that I've got this on here. And I have, of course, got a, do have the unboxing on my channel as well. I feel very, I'm not very eloquent today. Oh, 
I just really love it. <laughs> so that's my top five. My third number one favorite being my own deck. <laughs> Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the rest of the community has picked and again it's um, I've got a lot of decks to unbox and I have a lot of decks that I use that were uh, not published or not released in 2017 so um, that's that and um, thank you so much for watching and tomorrow we're doing the top five oracle decks so I'll see you then <laughs>